That time of the week, y'all. Five and four last week. We're getting there very slowly. Record now four over 500. Need to crush the end of the season to get where we want to be. Nine. Nine is the number, Steve. Niner. I don't know why. I don't know how we settled there, but that's where we are. Nine. Let's start with the first this year. We're taking Tennessee plus the five and a half against Kentucky. Big Blue Nation will be all mad at me again. Whatever. I <laughs> took you last week and we both lost. You'd think I would learn. And I think I swore off going against Clemson this year because every time I do, I get hammered. But we're going to take BC again, plus 20. Cold weather, defense, and some begging. We're going to plan on all that working out. <laughs> TCU is catching 11 and a half from a red hot West Virginia team. This could be the hold on to your butts pick. Horn Frogs plus 11 in the hook. Could be a disaster. Colorado at home. I knew you'd have this one. What's that? Got a stinky pee. <laughs> Only getting six from Washington State. Ugh, seems <laughs> smallish. Here we go, Buffs. Pittsburgh playing much better late. We have had them a bunch this year, but this week we are going against them in the unfamiliar role of ACC favorites. We are taking Virginia Tech and the three. Arkansas plus 13 and a half from an LSU team that we believe could be a little hungover and a little beat up after facing Alabama. Now it's time for Big Ten Scotty. Yeah. That's my conference, y'all. I know it well. I've been part of that conference forever. <laughs> Three from the heartland. Sky U Ma. Roll the boat, baby. Roll the boat. <laughs> Minnesota to show some fight this week. Getting 11 from Purdue. Go ahead, Gophers. Michigan State in a rock fight with Ohio State. Go green, go white. We will take the three and a half. And are you ready for this, Iowa? Huh? You think you are, but you aren't. My record going against you is a mess. But my record picking favorites is awfully good. Don't do it much, but it always seems to work. So uh, let's lay the 11. Nice. Is Northwestern leading that Big Ten, whatever, the leaders? Yeah, League? legends. Whatever it's called. They're leading. They're getting 11? Come on, Hawkeyes. Heck yeah, Big Ten favorite in November. Those always work. All right, so here's what we got. A little math for you. Boston College getting a big number from Clemson. 7-1-1 one, one against the spread last nine as an underdog, including four outright wins. They look to shock the second-ranked team in the nation. But you saw that. My, I, I picked against Clemson like six times in a row and got crushed every time. Michigan State getting points against Ohio State since Mark D'Antonio became head coach. 5-2 and two as an underdog against the Buckeyes. That includes three outright on the field. Then you got TCU's getting the 11 and a half from the ninth ranked West Virginia Mountaineers. Horn Frogs have been double digit underdogs 13 times under Coach P. They're 11 and 2 against that number with five outright wins. Mm. I don't know how many times they've lost to Kansas in the same year that I picked them in this spot, but they, they did this year. The big man, 73% is his record in the uh, Stanford Stephen the Bear podcast. Who you got this week? Uh, historic Nippert Stadium, Saturday night. Bearcats minus 14, Scott against South Florida. I'll take the home team, give the points. It's supposed to be like 20 degrees. I don't think the guys from South Florida are ready for that. Cincinnati, really good this year, 8-1. 73% Stanford Steve's picking. All right, here's what we got. Tennessee, BC, TCU, Colorado, Virginia Tech. Next, hot change. Arkansas, Minnesota, Michigan State, Iowa. Steve, what do you do with them? Tease them, parlay, everything. Money line. <laughs> 